okay so in this one uh, we are going to start with the django authentications okay so in the authentications we are going to uh, work on the registration uh, sign in forward password and uh, reset password and uh, uh, and i don't want to make this as a simple registration so in this one we are going to make a, a complete registration process where we will be sending a verification email to the user so when he clicks on the uh, link uh, then the account will be verified okay so that way uh, and in the login process also it is uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty simple so now we'll start with the registration first okay so for that we will be uh, yeah, we'll have to make uh, uh, this one urls for that okay so let me open this and uh, first of all i'll open the uh, atom editor okay so uh, now uh, let's close all these tabs first and all right so first thing first we'll have to make a urls for this so in the accounts we'll just create a new file urls.py okay i'll just copy this one copy whole code and uh, put it here i'll remove this okay now uh, and this one Uh, all right so the first one is register and we will start a register this is also register okay and for this to work we will have to first set up this uh, main uh, you know uh, this one the great card uh, main urls.py file so here we will be including the accounts app okay path accounts uh, whenever user comes into this the accounts we will uh, send him to accounts url accounts dot urls okay we can close this one now so a register is done and we need two more that is one is login login and this is login and this is a logout we will be logout and this is logout okay so let's start creating all these views first go to the views and define register with the request request so return a render request comma accounts slash uh, we will uh, create a register dot html html okay the same way we'll make uh, uh, these two also this is login login.html and uh, the logout uh, for now let's not do anything just keep uh, keep it as a return okay so now in the templates we'll go to uh, i think we'll have to create one a folder called accounts so in this accounts folder we will uh, we will put all the uh, HTML files related to these authentications. Okay, so create a new file register.html and new file login.html. Okay, so here uh, now. Uh, what we want to do is uh, okay first we'll check if this is working or not so this is a register and this is login let's first try if uh, this uh, you know setups are proper let's say accounts slash register okay wait uh, something is wrong uh, we did not started the server right 
run server okay register is working login is also working okay so the next thing uh, we'll go to this uh, uh, you know we'll go to this includes and new bar okay because uh, we will just uh, you know uh, link these buttons to the uh, proper page okay when i click on this register it should go to the register page so for that uh, we'll go to navbar.html and uh, this is uh, you see this is a sign in url space uh, login and this is url space register okay so now it should be fine login and register all right so in the register we will have to make a html template right so uh, we already have this uh, html template so let's open this sublime text uh, where we have this uh, uh, bootstrap template so in the grid card folder we have uh, uh, this register.html okay so before we do this one we will have to um, uh, you know include a base template okay this is uh, extends base.html and this is block content and end block end block let's try this all right so header and footers are loading now so now we can go to this uh, register.html template and uh, uh, take the you know take uh, take all these markups from here okay so start from this uh, section section content and come down and here it is ending copy and just uh, you know paste it inside this block content okay so now if you go refresh and we have this form okay uh, so the next step is to create a form itself okay so for that uh, uh, we will be using the django model form okay so instead of making uh, the form manually will you we can use django model forms which is uh, you know very useful if you go and try this uh, django model form uh, form uh, you see this you can you can if you want you can read uh, about all these things so actually it is uh, very useful when when you want to uh, replicate the fields of your uh, model okay in our case we, we are going to use the uh, model of our account okay uh, we have this account model right so in this one we are going to store all the user information so so that's why we'll use uh, django model forms so we'll go back to this views um, okay not views so in the uh, accounts uh, folder just right click and create a new file called forms.py okay so from here let's say from uh, django import forms okay and also from dot models import account okay so now let's create a class and name it as registration form so this registration form should inherit the forms dot uh, model form okay so in this one we'll be creating a class meta okay in the meta class we are going to say uh, you know model equal to account and uh, fields so these two inputs are you know very necessary so you should you must give it okay so first name comma last name comma phone number and email and what else i uh, this password 
right so these uh, these fields actually uh, i'm referring to these you know uh, the, these fields okay so first name last name username so i'm not using username here okay so that's okay so email and phone number okay email you know uh, i don't want uh, the uh, user to uh, put the username okay so we will create a uh, you know we'll automatically generate a username for the uh, user uh, based on what uh, the email address he puts in okay so that way and uh, and yeah that's it so uh, where is it uh, okay here it is all right so this part is done and the next thing is uh, we should go to the uh, register view okay here so in the register view we will we'll say form is equal to a registration form okay so uh, we should bring this registration form from from dot forms import import a registration form okay registration form and let's make a context context is equal to form colon form and uh, pass this form to here uh, in this html so now we have the uh, this form variable available in this uh, register.html okay so for now uh, what uh, we can do is we will just uh, so here after this form let's say okay let's just print the form okay so if i reload so this form is coming up now okay so this is actually the uh, default form of uh, the, our model okay so we can get rid of the, all these uh, extra things uh, just for now uh, this is how it looks and uh, uh, of course this is not looking very good now because uh, this is just uh, we are we are just printing a, a raw html okay so if you say form dot as underscore p as like as underscore p in the sense as paragraph so then it will look a little bit okay okay one by one it is showing and yeah we can still give all these forms are uh, uh, you know css classes but we'll uh, we'll look at that in a in a moment